All right, here we go. This is the true timeline. Forget the other stuff happened. Wait, technically, couldn't you just keep on uh, heal spamming to full HP to trigger Sturdy again? Or is Sturdy once per battle? What if Toxic misses? Uh-oh. Then I lose. <laughs> I don't have a way around that. Toxic is 90% chance to hit, right? Not 100? Rip. Wait, what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What? Wait, 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 wait. What just happened? What is Photon Geyser? Hold on a second. What is Photon Geyser? Why did it... Why did it kill me? Photon Geyser one-shot me. With Sturdy up. Does it have an ability that bypasses Sturdy, or... Something like that? I'm really confused right now. Okay, well the run's over again. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell was that? I I'm pretty sure Sturdy makes it so you can't get one shot. Okay, okay, I want to see this again. Was I not at full HP or something? I'm pretty sure I just used the Pokemon Center to heal. Okay, 126 out of 126. Sturdy. I shouldn't have died. I mean, the run's over again. But just pretend it didn't happen. I want to figure out what happened here. Okay, 126 out of 126. Sturdy is up. Toxic. Photon Geyser, and then I die. Yeah, What? what is this? I, I seriously hope someone can explain this. Okay, there is a thread on Reddit that says Ultra Necrozma one-shots even Pokemon with Sturdy. Apparently Photon Geyser ignores abilities, so it has the, the Mold Breaker ability built in. What the hell? So does it one-shot Mimikyu as well? Or do Disguise actually go off? That's actually really OP. So, if it ignores Disguise, then there's no way to beat this with my current team. Because this is the only way I can beat it, by cheesing it like this. It may not ignore Focus Sash, though. Hmm. Wow, this Pokemon really is OP. Ridiculous stats, gets a free buff, and ignores abilities. That's so stupid. X Special Defense? I don't think it works. Uh, Skarmory's... Special defense is too low, so even at 200%, it's not gonna be enough. Probably take about 60% damage instead of 90 to 100. Focus Sash probably works then, so you have to use Focus Sash to beat this thing. I'm assuming. Focus Sash protects spam. We'll see if Disguise works. If I get dropped to 1 HP by Photon Geyser, then I, it means that Disguise doesn't work either. Smart Strike? What is that? Wait, what? Why do you use Smart Strike? I mean, it's super effective, yeah. But isn't that thing really bad? It's like 60 base power, 70 base power. I don't know how strong Photon Geyser is. So you have to, like, super cheese it. Otherwise it doesn't work, period. I 
I want to test Focus Sash, though. Okay, we're just going to test all this stuff before I finish. Before I uh, actually kill it, I mean. Okay, well, I I'm trying to kill it now. Let me just test Focus Sash on Togedemaru. If it's Mold Breaker, then Focus Sash should work. But the other thing I want to test is if I switch into uh, Necrozma's Photon Geyser using Disguise, does it break through Disguise? That's what I'm trying to test as well. I gotta make sure about this. This is actually pretty interesting, sciencing the boss. But this is basically impossible to do on blind playthroughs then. Pokemon is overleveled, hyped up stats, ignores your ability, and you don't know all this on a blind playthrough. So you have no idea what to do. Is this the only Pokemon game that's pretty much impossible on blind playthroughs then? Because other ones, if you're smart enough and you know about how the game works, then you should be able to beat it. Yeah, Focus Sash works. So you need a Focus Sash. And then Protect. It's gonna use Photon Geyser again. I'm, I'm just gonna try- wait, did I not hit a Toxic? Did I miss? Wait, did Toxic miss? <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, <laughs> redo. What the hell? Toxic missed, right? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Oh my god! 10% mischance. Jeez, this game though. Getting trolled. Yeah, so there was no way for me to beat this. Uh, unless I got really lucky. I think one of the first things people will default to is using Sturdy against strong bosses like... I forgot to put the Focus Sash on. Damn it! The first thing... Most players who know about the game would do is use a sturdy Pokemon, but then you get one shot, so you lose your Pokemon. This is pretty cool though. Kinda. It's fun. It's interesting. Yeah, I really want to do another run. Another Nuzlocke. A Sun run. Yeah, if you used up the Focus Sash before the fight, you would have gotten screwed too. So Mimikyu at, I think, 5% chance encounter, or the, the giant Mimikyu, and hope you don't die, and Focus Sash. Those are the three ways to beat the boss on a blind playthrough. And just happen to have toxic strats as well. So the chance of you actually beating this game blind, uh, with a no grind run I should say. If you do a grind run you can probably beat it. Like over level yourself. Because on a grind run when you lose your Pokemon you can train up new Pokemon to replace them, right? But this was a no grind, soft grind only run. There's so many conditions that are almost impossible to actually do in a real run. Oh, and Toxic has to hit too, yeah, that. If your Toxic misses, even with the strategy, then you still die. Level cap is 65? Oh. That's pretty ridiculous, too. Yeah, I think you're right about Lusamine being better than this. This fight is just stupid. At least Lusamine can counterplay. This one doesn't have any counterplay for blind playthroughs. Okay, Photon Geyser! Will this kill me? Yes, it does. So Photon, Photon Geyser does not work. I mean, uh, Mimikyu does not work on Photon Geyser, but it uses Smart Strike if you have Mimikyu. So you need to use Focus Sash Mimikyu to do manipulation strats for this to work. That's the only way to beat this. Well, is it? Unless you just sack all your Pokemon. I guess you could do that too. Just switch something in, protect, 
the turn after and then over and over again, rinse and repeat. What's my switch in for, uh, let's see, what attacks does it use? Smart Strike, Photon Geyser. It has a Dragon move, right? Or a Psychic move? Or Psychic move is Photon Geyser. What was the other one? Oh, Rock. Rock move. Uh, what would it use against a Dark Pokemon, anyway? Dragon Pulse? Okay. I see. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what the strategy is. Yeah, this is impossible on a blind playthrough. I'm just gonna say it straight up. This is just impossible. You have to know exactly what kind of moves it has. And you have to do proper switch-ins and AI manipulation. That's too much. That's too much for a blind playthrough. This is Dragon Psychic? Can you even quad this thing? You can't. There's no quad weakness. Psychic Steel. Hmm. It would use Dragon Pulse for highest damage, right? So if my... Oh, what the hell? Where's your Toxin? Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Okay, let's see if I can properly switch this fight and actually kill it. Mimi Q. I love that cry. Watch it miss now. Yeah, this is pretty stupid AI, huh? So instead of ignoring Disguise, it attacks me with Smart Strike, because it's super effective. I wonder if you can kill this thing by using Charm on it. Charm turn 1, Charm turn 2, and then heal, and then Toxic. Maybe that's too many turns. Okay, Smart Strike, Steel Attack. Are you serious?! What the hell? It just randomly switched its moves! So if it decides to do that, you lose a Pokémon anyway. That's so troll. Not even funny. That's so stupid. This fight is just dumb. Photon Geyser? Okay. In before Dragon Pulse randomly. Just because, why not? Just use it. Are you serious? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I, I read it wrong. I got scared for a second. Okay, the fight's over! I thought it actually did it. The fight's over. That random switch, though. Yeah, so this is what you need to do to beat this thing. It's the only way to do it. You gotta cheese it. Okay, let's just say May's dead, whatever. May's dead for good now. There, it's got the double tally. Skull and crossbones. Nebby's back, yay! 
Yeah, this is the biggest uh, difficulty spike, isn't it? I mean, the other difficulty spikes in the previous games, they were more natural. It's like the Pokémon getting stronger by evolutions or... Uh, not just gaining levels, but gaining moves. Those were the difficulty spikes before. But those ones you can at least counterplay. Because if you know what the Pokémon learns, then you have an idea what they're going to use on you. Or you can just switch. Switch spam. And hopefully get a good bait. Poiple. Oh, that's another gift Pokemon. So if miraculously you make it past this fight, you get a nice Pokemon. Is this legendary though? I can't use it then. Maybe next time. It's an Ultra Beast, right? Oh, you can ride them both. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Even though I prefer Lion, Lion's cooler. Oh, no cutscene? Oh, you get to see it here, I guess. Yeah, I'm not using Ultra Beast. No, you didn't get to see it. Damn. Your Pokemon partners? What do you even have? Furfro and Poipol? Guess that's not too bad. What is a Poipol anyway? It's one of the Pokemon from their world, right? And it evolves apparently? That's pretty cool. It doesn't look freaky like the other Pokemon. The other, the other Ultra Beasts look freaky. They're like weird alien creatures. The Poipol actually looks like a, a Pokemon. This is pretty interesting. Smiling is what I do best, see? That's all I do. Smile. Even in the most dire situations, smile.
Don't you dare ambush me. So she actually has a trial now. Okay. Alright. Uh, should I just end it tonight? Maybe I'll, I'll do her trial first. And then that'll be it. It's getting pretty late. But I'll continue this tomorrow with uh, Nuzlocke rules and not really Nuzlocke. But I'll count Togedemaru as dead. Because it happened during the, the real run, I guess. After all the testing. That was pretty troll though, randomly switching moves. <laughs>